everybody I have one of the most important emails I've ever received and I've been on YouTube since 2006 um, as you know I do a lot of uh, really spiritual warfare with the occult and um, witchcraft things like that and every now and then someone that has experienced just pure evil in the occult will email me and I won't even ask them to do it they'll actually be telling me that they used to be in a uh, Wicca witchcraft um, Satanism any type of you know anything that has to do with demons and they will email me their stories these are real people and um, I'm gonna read one to you that I received from a gal named Lori and it is phenomenal and the reason why she has written this is because she believes that witchcraft and dealing with tarot cards and astrology and she believes it is extremely dangerous and she has nothing to gain from this but she really you know cares about people she's a Christian now and this is her true story and this is another edition of Shockbox. My name is Lori. I hardly know where to begin. There is so much to tell. I prayed before I started typing so that the truth would be revealed and that God would be honored in my testimony. And by the way, she emailed me this today. And I do have permission to read it to you guys. Phenomenal. I don't even know her, but um, she agrees with what I've been saying about the occult being extremely evil and dangerous. I grew up in New York City. My parents were divorced and my mother made a living writing for several different occult magazines, Zodiac Today and other astrology newspapers and magazines. Let me get a pen, you guys. Her pen name was Ariel Winters. Needless to say, I was raised by very liberal parents. My mother wanted me to pick my own religion. My mother would tell me she didn't believe in the occult and that she was only doing the occult writing to make us money. But she didn't realize how evil it truly was. Now guys, uh, by the way, I may need to break this up into a couple of videos uh, because it is so awesome. I don't want to leave anything out. Um, so let's go through this. However, we both fully believed in astrology, the tarot cards. Notice it says the I Ching, I-C-H-I-N-G, and numerology. And looking back, I have to admit that those things did predict the future and give insight. I just didn't know that this was against God's word and that fortune telling was evil. When I was about six years old, I lived in a haunted summer house in upstate New York with my mom. My mother's friend was murdered with her daughter by her ex-husband. To skip all the details, it was a very haunted house and objects moved in front of us day and night. This highly active supernatural ghost experience lasted several months and it even got to the people where the ghosts would have conversations in one room. The house was very big and I would run in the room expecting to find people and it was completely empty and then the talking would stop. People who used to visit us at the house would stop visiting because of all the weird things happening. Furniture moving, sounds coming from different rooms were so common that my mom and I actually got used to it. However, the nighttime was the most active period for ghost. My mother had to bring Hans Holzer, a famous ghost caster, into our home to remove the ghost. There were many. He did this by telling them they must leave and amazingly they did. Han Holzer did research, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right, uh, did research on the history of the ghost at our house and he even wrote a book called Ghost and there is even a chapter in that book about this and if memory serves me right, it's called, quote, The Riverside Ghost, unquote. The book Ghost is published by Black Dog, and even I am mentioned in the chapter briefly. These things really happen, but I try to forget about them. My mother always told me as a young child that ghosts could never hurt me physically. Somehow she knew, but they sure did scare me to death. To make things worse... My dad's father, who died when my dad was a child, was a 33-degree mason. My dad and his brother hardly ever saw their dad growing up. I could only imagine the generational evil stuff I got from that, what I inherited from him. 
So that is the background for my journey into many things. I was into New Age and astrology at a young age. I knew how to read native astrology charts and, and, and interpret them. I read the tarot cards for family and friends and told people their fortunes, but never for money. I also got deeply in the I Ching and would use that daily for guidance. However, I stopped when it started to give me bad messages. Okay, so now it gets phenomenal. However, one day I did my mother's tarot cards and the death card came up and the Tower of Flames and many other very evil cards surfaced. Well, my mom made a joke about it and said it was nothing and told me not to worry. She died a few days later very unexpectedly from elective optional surgery, which was to be a one-day hospital stay. That happened when I was 18. The surgeon who performed the stomach tuck and never lost a patient in his life, because it was like a tummy tuck thing. My mother lived from the surgery and she was fine. However, that morning I was supposed to pick her up, she died. I remember that night sleeping and my bed literally violently shook and moved while I was in it and I could not figure out why. And by the way, guys, that's true. I've talked to so many people that deal with tarot cards, uh, witchcraft, spells, um, things like that, where they talk about their bed shaking or the sheets being pulled off of them. Many of you watching this, if you've had circumstances like that, please type it below. Send me your story. You can send it anonymously like Lori did here. Lori is actually someone on YouTube. I'm not going to give out her channel. Um, she may offer it later on, but she does allow me to give her name. Okay, where were we? Um, okay, my bed literally violently shook and moved while I was in it, and I cannot figure out why. I had been looking at an evil book a few days before with my roommate. It was her book, and it had pictures of science fiction types of machines and babies combined. The book was burned after my mother died, and my roommate's boyfriend had his eyesight taken from him in a chemistry lab explosion at the college the same day my mom died. I never looked at those types of books again. That's really weird. Machines and babies combined. For the next 12 years, I always thought I was running from something, and I was so numb from my mother's death. She had been my best friend and the sister I had never had. There was lots of drama in my life, but I managed to keep my employment. In my early 30s, I eventually went to a Tibetan Buddhist school in Boulder, Colorado, and I received my master's degree in transpersonal psychology. I wanted to heal myself and seek the truth. I had always been into New Age, but now I wanted to go deeper. First, I got into transpersonal psychology. Then I got into shamanism. <clears throat> I joined a drumming group and I would journey to the underworld with my spirit guide. Now, those of you guys that have never been into, you know, witchcraft or tarot cards and stuff, they a lot of witches will tell you they do have spirit guides. Some of them um, that I've talked to anonymously, they'll use narcotics, some type of drug to get them in this state of mind. So um, let's get back to her story. I thought this was all harmless and it seems very safe, then I got into invoking spirits to help with a fundraiser at college. Since money came from trees, it seemed only natural to drum outside around trees so that we could have more money for the school. I even got the director of fundraising into this and had a groups of staff and students. It didn't actually raise any money, LOL, but that didn't matter. We called the trees the one-legged people, and of course, in there are the, quote, rock people, unquote, paganism at its best. Next, I got into shamanism. Now, you guys, this is part one of Shockbox. Um, you're going to click below here, and let's go to part two of Shockbox, and I'll continue the story. This is very, very good.